Hi, my name's Chris. I'm the Digital Sales Controller here at Jaguar Land Rover in Stockton. Uh, I've received your inquiry regarding the uh, Range Rover Sport. I'm currently sat inside it right now. It's a stunning car. Uh, what I thought I'd do is a bit of a video walk around just to uh, detail this car a little bit further than, than the images do alone. All right, so I hope this helps. Uh, let's take a look around the Range Rover Sport. So there we are. Look at that absolutely stunning Range Rover Sport. And in my opinion, the best colour combination, the black with the privacy glass and the silver accents. It's absolutely gorgeous. So first off, starting with the front, we've got the contrast silver splitter with the fog light surrounds, that silver grille and the Range Rover branding. And obviously those signature LED Range Rover headlights. OK, and moving on to the side, it's carried on. We've got the silver inserts and bonnet grills on there. Now, you are one of the first people to inquire on this car. It has just gone through its mechanical inspections and we've just given it a service. Obviously, it's passed its inspections with flying colours. The next stage is it's going to go through cosmetic inspections. One thing I will mention is all four of the alloys are going to be fully refurbed because they're gorgeous alloys, but they have got marks on them. So we're going to get them done. Uh, we wouldn't do those wheels justice if we didn't because they're gorgeous. The 22 inch gloss black multi spokes and with that uh, red caliper in the background it's a it's i mean you can see that it's beautiful absolutely stunning car body work wise it's in very good condition especially for its age it's obviously been looked after okay and then coming round to the back there you can see we've got the twin tailpipes with the uh contrast rear splitter and the silver trim there it is the spot hse sdv6 so hse is basically top of the range and obviously being the the diesel v6 it's a very powerful car so boot wise it's huge good amount of space in these uh obviously it is going to go through its full valet and process once the cosmetics have been done we've got four good solid metal anchor points either side okay and we've got there's power sockets in there and lots of hooks and things concealed as well as this fold out tornio cover so just panning back a bit we'll close down the boot there which you can do from the key and you can see as it's coming down revealed it does have the reversing camera system as well as the front sensors and the rear sensors now taking a look at the bodywork on this side I'd say once those wheels are done, it's given a full valet. This is absolutely stunning car, beautiful. Now, let's take a look inside the interior. So as we get in, got that gorgeous black perforated leather heated front seats, which are memory function as well. Okay, let's step inside. We'll start the car up so the car's done 52,540 which for a diesel of this age is uh it's very good mileage uh we've got the full lcd screen on there as well as the touchscreen infotainment system which is full color uh, and it's really quick and responsive to be fair uh we've it can give you the eco data as well as your four by four information and uh, we've got the the cameras on there uh, which let me just tap on that and bring it up there. Uh, I can do a separate video detail in this infotainment system a bit more, but it's a very, very good system to be fair. And you can see just at the top there, I've got my heated seat switched on because it's quite chilly out here. Okay, so speaking of which, you can just go direct by pressing that button uh, and then you can adjust the uh, heated seat on there. Okay, so we've got the multifunction climate control. So currently, we can you press that to do your seats or we can do the fan speed or the actual temperature of the car we've got the heated front windscreen okay which is an absolute must in this weather all right essentially you just press that button there it'll heat up the tiny elements i don't know if you can see them on the camera probably not uh it'll heat up the tiny elements that run throughout the whole windscreen and melt off any ice uh, and snow decent sized glove box in there Okay, obviously the car is full service history as I've uh, as I've mentioned and we've got the cup holders concealed in there covered with the piano black trim and the all-terrain system there so these you can lower the car so I don't know if you can see there 
probably can't. Let me just raise it back up again. Probably can't. Can't see it on the camera. We're starting to raise up there. Um, so you can adjust the height of the uh, of the car using them as well as all the different all-terrain controls. Okay, I'm going to put it back to that one for now. Okay, so you can see the seats are in very good condition. All right, let's take a look inside the back of the car. Excuse my camera work. Here we go, so you can see there, those seats are in very good condition. Look at them, they've barely been touched. All right, it's beeping at me because I've left the doors open. Bless it, it's getting cold. And we've got heated rear seats as well in the back there. We can just press them and put them on full. All right. Now, the car is, like I said, it's been very well looked after. You can see that, I think, with uh, a bit of cosmetic on those alloys and a nice good polish up, this will be an absolutely stunning example of a Range Rover Sport but if you have any questions about this car uh, or any any of our cars to be fair feel free to contact me on 01642 644 4 or you can email me at chris.richardson at strathstone.com I'm just taking one last walk around the car just to give you a review of it Thanks again.